Okay. Ugh. Greetings, everyone. Welcome to part three of putting together Zarin Azarak's kick-ass new computer. Today on the Multimedia Chronicles. Welcome back. This is hurting my neck. I've been like this through the whole titles. Okay. <sighs> discharge, discharge, discharge. All right, as we were uh, doing at the end of the last part when I ran out of tape, because I rambled so bloody much, we were just putting the screws into the new Serial ATA hard drive. This is a Western Digital Caviar Green. Now it's called a Caviar Green because apparently it's a little more energy efficient than standard hard drives and uh, a little more environmentally friendly so you gotta love that eh even even the hard drive people are concerned about the environment that's it's very very heartwarming <laughs> now you'd think being environmentally friendly this would be more expensive but for those of you who missed part two i actually got this hard drive for about 50 bucks it normally goes uh, for or i guess no it was 60 uh, for 60 bucks it's 1.5 terabytes and um, it's normally like 75. Okay, so. Ugh. Now, where do we want the system drive? We have three bays to choose from for uh, three and a half inch drives like this. We got one, two, three. I'm thinking maybe we'll just slide it in the bottom there and then we can use the top two bays for the older drives. And then uh, with the added plus of those two bays being more easily accessible in the future when I want to replace those with higher capacity, faster hard drives. So here's how it works with the compact bays. This is beautiful. Okay, slide it in like that. And you see all these things here? Let's zoom in a bit. Slide it in and it just clicks into place. Done. You want to get it out again? Now, look at that, it's nice and nice and secure. Want to get it out again? Just lift this latch and push, and it slides right out. So that's thanks to the screws on the side that basically click into these clips here. So, pretty cool. Like the, That's one thing I really like about the compact cases, is uh, despite the lack of space in them, um, they make it really easy to add and remove components. So, we also want to put in the other two old drives. So I've got this old, uh, where is it, Mac, uh, there, Maxtor, which is actually the original system drive. So this is going to be, uh, basically I'm gonna transfer a bunch of files off of it that I wanna keep, and then it's gonna be wiped and used strictly for storage. Oh, wait a minute, putting it in backwards, don't wanna do that. You wanna make sure your connectors are at the back, because that's kind of important. All right, so slide that sucker in. There we go. Hmm, I don't know why the bottom one protrudes so much more than the other ones. Go figure. They're both, I mean, they're all exactly the same size, so. And then this one is actually another 200 gig drive that I bought a while back just to have some extra storage space. Um, I actually wanted to get a bigger capacity one at the time, but I was kind of limited on money and desperately needed space. So that's what we did. What are we doing here? There we go. And we just slide that in. Okay, so the two drives are in. And we got one more, which is the old DVD burner. Put that one in. All right. So that one's gonna go, uh, that one's going in the top in one of the five and a quarter inch bays. Pull back a bit here. Same deal again. Just clicks into place, nice and snug. Then we got the light scribe drive. So we want, uh, ah, this one's all glued together as well. All right, hold on a second. Let's get out the uh, thingy and free the drive from its prison of plastic. Essentials, which will let us burn discs, which is great. And then we got uh, this. 
Yes. Ooh, look at that. This is a serial ATA drive as well. Awesome. So we're going to have a bit of mixing and matching here. So again, this will just go in the top. And uh, yeah, apparently we need some screws on there. Did we not get screws with this one either? Of course not. Why would we get screws with it? That would be, you know, useful and shit. Uh, yeah, we didn't get anything. Okay, well I guess we're gonna have to try to get the rest of these screws off because I need them. Uh, where are we here? Okay, so there was one that we just could not get off to save our lives. Well, we can probably get by with three, but So we'll try to get that last one off if we can. See, uh, it was very nice of, of Compaq to put uh, some extra screws on the front here. So I guess they figure, hey, people might actually want to add some more to their system at some point. So let's make it easy for them. I just wish they didn't put them in here so bloody tight. Mind you, these have been here since the computer was new, which was about 10 years ago. So, it could just be age that has caused them to glue themselves in there. just needed a little love, Charlie Brown. Okay, good. So now we can have the full four screws for the uh, five quarter inch. Let me just uh, pull this one out again and see how they are configured. So it looks like the, uh, see there's actually four screw holes. So we want the bottom two there, not the top two. Okay, so we'll slide that back in. I guess if you want to be really picky, you would sort of put together the basics of the system first and just make sure it boots up, but I am confident that this is going to work. I believe in everything. <laughs> I do not foresee any problems whatsoever, and I think it's going to be wonderful. So I want to be fully operational on the first boot up, and we're just going to... Uh, go to town on that, it's going to be awesome. So ultimately, obviously, we want to go full serial ATA with everything, but uh, given that things are kind of in a transitional phase right now, we're going to be mixing and matching a little bit. And that's fine, whatever. Find that. Good. So I'm really looking forward to this one. This is, a, this is my first light scratch drive, so I think it'll be, it'll be quite cool to finally have that capability. There we go, look at that. It's starting to look like a real computer now. Okay, so let's uh, let's get back inside. A couple things we need to, to check here. Uh, first off, yeah, let's move these cables out of the way as much. Oh God, how do we? Okay, we'll put them there. All right, so next up. Uh, this, which is the these are USB headers, uh, how does this go? Four and five. Yes. Okay. Just so need to find the the cable that goes to the front power switch because that's kind of an important component. There we go. All right. Good. That seems to be lovely. Okay, now we got. Uh, what do we got here? Let's see where all these go. So that one goes over to the side, which is USB. Okay, USB header. We need a uh, five and a four. That's, oh, wait a minute, that's COM1. Where the hell did. That's right. Yeah, this is the fun part, trying to figure out what everything plugs into. 
Okay. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Uh, IDE LED. Power switch reset. Yes. Okay. Here we go. Found it. It's actually over here. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck. Well, that's not gonna fit. That's the speaker. Oh, hold on. Power switch. There. That's not gonna fit either. Oh, what the hell? LED. Alright, whatever. We'll figure that one out after. Okay, so here we have uh, some USB headers. A bunch of different ones, actually. So let's put this here. This will be for the uh, for the USB ports at the front. Make sure that it's nice and snug in there. Okay. Uh, USB. It's not going to fit, is it? That's for the FireWire. Damn this thing not having a FireWire. All right, and this is for audio. Yeah, this is really exciting, isn't it? Seeing my head buried in the case. <laughs> okay, S P D I F out. No, that's got to be something else. Where is the audio? Let's take a look at the uh, user guide here and just see what some of the different parts are and make sure we're uh, make sure we're looking at the, the right parts here. Motherboard layout, okay. CPU and chassis fan connectors. Okay. So that's uh, that's going to be the case fan. IDE connector, we'll definitely be using that. Onboard power LED. That's uh, what's that. Okay, so that's this. So I was looking in the right place. It's over. It's over here. IDE LED. <laughs> Internal LED, yeah, that's really useful. Ah, digital audio connector, where's that? 13. Yes. Okay, that's what I was looking for. The audio front panel. Oh, wait a minute. Front panel audio connector. Well, that doesn't, uh, that doesn't correspond to what I have. Alright, well, we'll try it with the, uh, the four pin there and see see what happens okay all right I think that's pretty much everything we need to know the rest is pretty straightforward <laughs>